So, how many cars do I have on this perfect close free mid-June day? Let's see. Well, there's another exact, well, except for the color, real Cheviac because it was a Pontiac. Well, it is a Pontiac. And I could do a cold start on it, but it won't be that exciting because the owner who owns that trailer got it running a few weeks ago and drove it around and it sat for two years and all I did was put a battery in it and pump the shit out of it and it worked. Still got the DPP, although I wasn't able to find the keys for it this week for some reason. Last time I seen them was three years ago. Still got to fix the spring in the red rocket, the 5-speed 318 98 Dodge Dakota, so it's been sitting for a few years. And what lies round the bend? The star car. Unmoved since last November. Still haven't fixed the battery wire on it. But I did uh, make it so it probably won't hydro lock. I got some tuck tape and taped up the big half inch gap between the manifold and the exhaust pipes. That piece of shit gay thing is still here. My old van, Taliban taxi, original redneck roller coaster I made in 99. The Dodge truck that's still working. That I put the old uh, transmission in from the 80s. Now this Jeep works, it's not mine. A woman who comes here sometimes, is, well, plans on driving it, but she hasn't driven it yet. This one's not mine either. He just got it and hasn't, hasn't driven it yet. This uh, 92 Altima is going to go for scrap. It was a super fast car with a 5-speed 263 horsepower V6, but it doesn't work anymore. Subaru still works. Mitsubishi's not mine. This truck is owned by some people from Windsor who like to come and ride here. My mother's Buick is still not working because the fuel line leaks. It's a 99, 3.8. It's a Regal. Got rid of a few scrap cars this year, as you can see. I guess six of them so far. The Civic's not mine. I don't have the keys for it. Couldn't find the keys this week for the Redneck Ricer. It just has a problem with the clutch slave cylinder. The Mazda Racer still works, as far as I know. So, other than the cars that are around my barn, this is what's left for now. I just got my cop car running after sitting for a few years, so I'll have to show that too. So the tanker's working good. I, I drove it just a month ago to pick up water from the pond and refill my tank when I put chlorine in it. We don't drink it, but it's good for flushing toilets and using the sinks and that. There's my million dollar view. And if you look to the left, you can see I got the cop car out. It's been put away for a few years. It's working good. All the lights and stuff are still working. and still fast well kind of fast and you can see the rest of the cars around the building that i have the zoom in is down there too most of those are working fine wheat looks pretty good from this angle this not too smoky of a day some days the smoke is all the way down to the ground because almost 10 provinces are burning in, in canada and when it's down to the ground it's stinky go on the news or look up on the internet New York's smoky days they had a week or two ago from Canadian smoke from 2,000 miles away. Yeah, we got that too, but not quite as bad as New York. I guess Al Gore's right. Is it global warming? I just said a dirty word. Al Gore and global warming. <laughs>